Have you ever wondered if your dreams hold hidden secrets that could change your life? Discover the secret door to your soul with the profound understanding of Carl Jung in the mystical world of dreams. What secrets lie hidden in the shadows of our dreams? Every night as we drift into sleep, a world of images, emotions and stories unfolds before our eyes. Could these nightly journeys be the key to unlocking our true selves? Carl Jung, the renowned Swiss psychiatrist, believed so. He saw dreams not merely as fleeting fantasies, but as profound messages from our unconscious mind, guiding us towards wholeness and self-discovery. Jung's groundbreaking work on dream analysis continues to inspire and intrigue to this day. He recognized the transformative power of dreams, their ability to uncover our hidden strengths, confront our deepest fears, and ultimately lead us to a more authentic and fulfilling life. In a world yearning for meaning and connection, Jung's insights offer a beacon of hope. By learning to listen to the whispers of the night, we can embark on a journey of self-exploration and unlock the extraordinary potential that lies within us. Let us delve into the world of dreams through the lens of Jungian psychology and discover how these nightly journeys can illuminate the path to our true selves. Anne, a successful marketing executive, found herself caught in a relentless cycle of pressure. Her days were filled with back-to-back -back meetings, pressing deadlines and the constant demands of the corporate world. With each passing day, the weight of her responsibilities grew heavier. Her days were spent juggling meetings, deadlines and the relentless demands of the corporate world. The hustle and bustle of the office never seemed to cease and Anne felt like she was always racing to catch up. The calendar pages flipped by rapidly, each day blending into the next, without a moment of respite. Despite her outward success, Anne felt an emptiness within her soul. She often found herself gazing out of her office window, lost in thought, wondering, is this all there is? The city lights at night seemed to mock her sparkling brightly while she felt so dim inside. Anne told me, I was plagued by insomnia, and even when sleep did come, it was often filled with strange, unsettling dreams. I would lie awake for hours, my mind racing with thoughts of work and my never-ending to-do list. Even when I did manage to drift off, my dreams were filled with anxiety and dread. There was one recurring dream in particular that filled me with a sense of unease. In it, I was climbing a mountain, the summit always just out of reach. No matter how hard I tried, I could never seem to reach the top. It was as if the mountain was mocking me, reminding me of my failures and shortcomings. In it, I was climbing a mountain, the summit always just out of reach. The path was steep and treacherous, and I could feel the weight of my exhaustion with every step I took. The summit seemed to taunt me, always remaining just beyond my grasp. Exhausted and searching for answers, Anne stumbled upon a book on Jungian dream analysis. She was intrigued by the idea that her dreams might hold deeper meaning and offer insights into her unconscious mind. The book promised to help her understand the symbols and archetypes that appeared in her dreams. Intrigued, she began keeping a dream journal meticulously, recording her nightly experiences. Each morning she would write down every detail she could remember, hoping to uncover the hidden messages within her dreams. The act of journaling became a therapeutic ritual, a way for her to process her thoughts and emotions. As she delved deeper into the world of symbols and archetypes, she began to recognize patterns and recurring themes in her dreams. She noticed that certain symbols appeared repeatedly, each holding a unique significance. 
the process of analysing her dreams became a journey of self-discovery. Anne told me again, my journey of dream work led me to a Jungian therapist. I needed someone who could guide me through the complex world of my unconscious mind. The therapist helped me to see the connections between my dreams and my waking life, revealing insights that I had never considered before. Gradually, with guidance, I began to unravel the hidden messages within my dreams. Each session brought new revelations and I started to understand the deeper meanings behind my recurring dream of the mountain. It was a symbol of my relentless pursuit of success and the pressure I put on myself to constantly achieve more. I realised that the mountain represented my constant pursuit of external validation. I had been climbing it for years, always striving to reach the top, but never feeling satisfied. The summit, always out of reach, symbolised my unconscious belief that I was never enough. The elusive summit symbolised my unconscious belief that I was never enough. But through my journey of self-discovery, I began to realise that true fulfilment could not be found in external achievements. It was about accepting my own worth and finding peace within myself. This realisation marked the beginning of my transformation from stress to serenity. The dream is a small hidden door in the soul's most secret and concealed place, Carl Jung wrote. These words encapsulate the profound mystery and depth that dreams hold within our psyche. With these words, he captured the essence of his revolutionary approach to dream interpretation. Jung's theories opened up new avenues for understanding the human mind. Jung believed that dreams are not merely random firings of the sleeping brain, but a direct line to the unconscious mind. This view was a significant departure from the prevailing scientific thought of his time. According to Jung, this unconscious is a vast reservoir of wisdom, creativity and instinctual energy, explained a dream symbolism expert. It is the part of us that holds the key to understanding our true selves. It is the source of our deepest fears and desires, our forgotten memories and our unrealized potential. By delving into our dreams, we can uncover aspects of ourselves that we are not conscious of in our waking lives. Dreams, he argued, are the language of the unconscious, a symbolic language that speaks to us in images, metaphors and emotions. This symbolic language can be complex and multi-layered, often requiring careful analysis to decode. Jung's approach to dream analysis differed significantly from the popular Freudian interpretation of dreams as repressed desires. While Freud's theories focused on the hidden sexuality and aggression within dreams, Jung's perspective was more holistic. Where Freud focused on uncovering the hidden sexuality and aggression within dreams, Jung saw them as a path to wholeness and individuation. He believed that dreams can guide us towards becoming our true selves. He believed that dreams serve a compensatory function, balancing our conscious attitudes and behaviours. This means that dreams can offer insights into the parts of ourselves that we are neglecting or overemphasizing. If we are too rational and controlled in our waking lives, our dreams may present us with images of chaos and instinctual urges, the dream symbolism expert further explained. These images are reminders to embrace our more intuitive and creative sides. Conversely, if we are overly emotional and impulsive, our dreams may offer symbols of order and logic. This balance is crucial for maintaining psychological health and well-being. Jung developed various techniques for dream analysis, including active imagination and amplification these methods help individuals connect with their dreams on a deeper level and uncover the hidden messages within them. By understanding and integrating the messages of our dreams, we can achieve personal growth and transformation. Dreams can serve as a guide, leading us towards a more balanced and fulfilling life. 
Jung also introduced the concept of the collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of experiences and archetypes common to all humanity. These archetypal symbols often appear in dreams, offering universal themes and insights. The interplay between the personal and the universal in dreams can provide profound insights into our place in the world and our connections to others. By exploring these connections, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our relationships. To engage with our dreams, Jung recommended keeping a dream journal, reflecting on dream symbols and discussing dreams with others. These practices can help us integrate the wisdom of our dreams into our daily lives. Dream analysis is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey. As we continue to explore our dreams, we can uncover new layers of meaning and continue to grow and evolve. Embracing the mystery of dreams can lead to a richer, more meaningful life. It is an ongoing quest for self-discovery, guided by that hidden door to the soul that Carl Jung so eloquently described. Through her work with her therapist, Anne began to decipher the symbolic language of her dreams. Each session peeled back layers of her subconscious, revealing hidden meanings and insights that had long been buried. The process was both enlightening and challenging as Anne confronted aspects of herself that she had never fully acknowledged. The recurring image of the mountain, once a source of anxiety, became a powerful symbol of my own ambition and drive. Initially, the mountain seemed insurmountable, representing the obstacles and pressures I faced each day. But as I delved deeper, I began to see it as a testament to my resilience and determination. Each climb, each struggle was a step towards my goals, a reflection of my inner strength. I realised that my relentless pursuit of success stemmed from a deep-seated fear of failure, rooted in my childhood experiences. Memories of my parents' high expectations and the pressure to excel in school came flooding back. These early experiences had planted the seeds of my anxiety, driving me to constantly prove my worth. Understanding this connection was a pivotal moment in my journey. As Anne explored her dreams further, she began to recognise other recurring symbols. Each symbol held a piece of the puzzle, offering clues about her inner world. The process was like decoding a personal language that spoke directly to her soul. With each revelation, Anne felt a growing sense of clarity and empowerment. The colour red, often associated with passion and anger, appeared frequently in my dreams. It was a vibrant, almost overwhelming presence, demanding my attention. I began to see it as a manifestation of my repressed emotions, particularly my anger. This realisation was both liberating and difficult, as it forced me to confront feelings I had long ignored. It made me face my own suppressed anger towards my demanding boss and the unrealistic expectations placed upon me. I had always prided myself on being calm and professional, but beneath the surface, anger had been festering. Acknowledging this anger was the first step towards addressing it, both in my dreams and in my waking life. Through dream work, Anne embarked on a profound journey of self-discovery. Each dream was a window into her psyche, revealing hidden fears, desires and strengths. The process was transformative, reshaping her understanding of herself and her place in the world. I began to understand the root causes of my anxiety and stress. It wasn't just about the pressures of my job or the demands of daily life. It was about deeper, more ingrained patterns of thought and behaviour. Recognising these patterns allowed me to start breaking them, to find healthier ways of coping. I learned to set healthy boundaries, both in my professional and personal life. This was a crucial step in reclaiming my sense of self. I began to say no to unreasonable demands, to prioritise my own well-being over the expectations of others. It was a challenging shift but one that was essential for my mental health. 
Most importantly, I reconnected with my creativity, a part of myself that I had long suppressed. Creativity had always been a source of joy and expression for me, but in the busyness of life, it had taken a back seat. Rediscovering this aspect of myself was like finding a long lost friend. Anne's dreams became a source of guidance and inspiration. They were no longer just random images and scenarios, but meaningful messages from her unconscious mind. Each dream offered insights and lessons, helping her to navigate her waking life with greater awareness and purpose. I started painting again, a passion I had abandoned since childhood. The act of creation was therapeutic, allowing me to express emotions and ideas that words couldn't capture. Each brushstroke was a release, a way of channeling my inner world onto the canvas. My art became an outlet for my emotions, a way of expressing the unconscious wisdom that was bubbling to the surface. It was a form of self-expression that felt both ancient and new, a connection to a deeper part of myself. Through painting, I found a sense of peace and wholeness that had long eluded me. Mark, a decorated war veteran, returned home haunted by the harrowing scenes he had witnessed in combat. Diagnosed with PTSD, I was plagued by nightmares, flashbacks and crippling anxiety. Traditional therapy offered little solace and I found myself spiralling into a state of isolation and despair. Desperate for relief, Mark's therapist suggested dream work. Though initially sceptical, I decided to give it a try. I began keeping a dream journal, recording the terrifying images that haunted my sleep. 